nice tomato, fresh, ripe, and juicy. It looks good, doesn't it? It certainly do. And the most interesting part is that it's genetically engineered. What? Next, the nuclear power and weapon. Genetic modification through genetic engineering has one of the worst reputations among new scientific innovations. One whisper of these two words is enough to provoke a slew of conspiracy theories, ranging from cancer causing to mutation forming. But is the fear of genetic modification justified? Are they the final nail in the coffin of humanity? Or are they just another fable monster under the bed? <laughs> What are genetically modified food? Genetic modification uh, involves modifying the genetic makeup of a plant or animal using either breeding or recombinant DNA technology. So in other words, you can ac accomplish it in two different ways. Breeding, which is a traditional way of doing it, and genetic engineering is the more modern method using recombinant DNA technology. Okay, see that DNA strand on the left? The pink bit is the gene in the DNA. So genetic engineering requires a scientist to take that particular gene and insert it to another DNA strand. So think of yourself for a moment as sister matter. And scientists genetically re-engineered your body to make you faster and stronger. So why do this? Why mess with Mother Nature? Well, for several reasons, and all very applicable to us here in the Caribbean. In the case of agriculture, for instance, um, if, you, if you have a particular variety which is susceptible to a disease, or a breed that is not tolerant to salty uh, environments or a high temperature environments, then you can place a gene that allows it to tolerate those stressors, and in reducing those stressors, uh, it improves the yield or productivity of the crop or animal. GM crops are more resistant to pests and pests are a huge problem in the Caribbean. To avoid this, farmers use pesticide. But who wants to buy food treated with pesticide? Too much pesticide harms the environment. One of the biggest benefits of GM foods is the fact that some foods will be able to deliver vaccines like tomatoes and bananas which can be modified to contain the hepatitis B vaccine. I don't know about you but that sounds pretty good to me. But of course if it was so simple no one would be scared of GMOs. So why are they? Genetic engineering inherently is neither good or bad but some of the bad things that people talk about is about um, inadvert inadvertently moving uh, genes that may provide new allergic reactions to human beings or perhaps moving a gene that may produce a toxic chemical that can affect uh, human beings or animals that are fed. Uh, or you may have a particular gene that you put in in a particular organism but it may escape uh, through the pollen and cross-pollination to other plants in the environment which are beyond your control. And uh, so while th these are specific problems, uh, many methods of uh, genetic engineering do not pose any problems at all. So you cannot put all the genetically modified products into one basket and say this is good or bad. On the other hand, GM foods are tested more rigorously and might be a lot safer to eat than other foods. Another concern surrounding GM foods like books, music and even film which cannot be reproduced without permission. Same can be applied to GM food since the technology would belong to a particular company which could cause a monopolization of the world's food production by just a few companies. Of course it also gives countries the ability to earn money. Now I'm sure GMOs and some as scary as the day before do they. As with any technology they have the power to do good or bad. It all depends on how they are used. So the next time someone freaks out about GM foods, tell them they don't have anything to worry about. They probably have been eating GM foods for years and don't even know it. I guess that brings us to the end of our show. I'm Tiffany Briggs and don't be afraid to try anything.